I'm wore out, people. I'm wore out. I'm gonna tell you. As soon as I get home. I am, I am, I am. Uh, not having any trouble in our, our town, town getting so gas. No trouble in our town so far getting gas. <laughs> I did a, uh, earlier I did a uh, Dollar Tree haul at the car wash. It's she's gonna show before this one, so you will have seen it. What I've got in the back seat was some stuff I was gonna haul at it and didn't. I'll try to get to it today, but I thought, well, I'll just take you along for the rod. I am fixing to head to tractor supply. I got my gas. I gave in. I usually make my iced coffees at home, but I'm not home, as you see. So I stopped at the Sonic and got me a nice coffee. If you get it before 10 or 11, it's half price, so it's a dollar. I think it's like a dollar fifty for it. This lasts me all day, literally all day plus some. I don't normally buy iced coffee anymore at Sonic because one time, as I told a friend, I had uh, left it out, didn't get it poured out from the day before, and when I went to pour it out in the uh, sink, it left a big old clump, and I thought, ooh, that clump would have been in my stomach. But that was with the vanilla flavoring, so I don't know if it had something to do with that. Sorry about the sun. I may not be able to record a whole lot. Um, I don't know if it had to do with the vanilla flavoring that I had put in it or what, but that big old clump was just not advertised. And doing now, it's just making my own at home. A lot cheaper for one and thing. And I know it doesn't what goes up. up. So I don't know what they use. And, I, and it may be all restaurants, so I'm not bashing them because I actually like the taste of it. I'm gonna reverse you for a minute because I can't see nothing with the sun. Hang on. It ain't gonna let me catch you off is what it's not gonna let me do. I just keep talking. You can just see me in the sun. You'll see all my, see, get my feet first and then I'm gonna have to work my other stuff around my feet because I'm in my husband's vehicle. I didn't think I was driving it and it was happening. I need to get it and I thought, well, I'll top it off. And the lady at the gas station said, there, it's a marathon station, said they are not allowing people to come up with the big 50 gallon or whatever things that they're using to fill up gas because they're panicking. They're not allowing that because they want people that work to be able to get gas and they're afraid that if they do that, then people that actually need it to work, I'm going to do that. That might help. No, that didn't help. So, I uh, the they might not marathon for making that decision because, yeah. It brought me back. It, my did. it kept me off and I thought, well, I'll wait to try to supply and try to figure out what to do because I'm on the interstate and I don't didn't want to mess with my phone. I think I was talking about my sister-in-law. She, They live in Tallahassee, so they were the one of the hardest hitting cities that I've seen last night. And I sent it over to my brother. There was three cities in Tallahassee. Tennessee actually had a higher percentage of shortage than Florida. I think it was 14% shortage or something like that in Florida, 16% for Tennessee. Uh, but we're gonna be all right. It's just like everything else. When people panic and they flood, uh, the stores to purchase or they flood the stores to get gas, any of that, it's going to cause temporary shortages because the trucks aren't scheduled out, I know for a fact, scheduled out to meet that kind of demand. And I think I read where they're trying to uh, demand more, try to get more gas trucks out, but I don't know if they've got them to even get them out. I just hope everything gets settled and that everybody out, out in YouTube world is getting what they need. I really do. I hope they are. I'm gassed because a lot of people work. 
Uh, my brother works from home normally, so he don't have to worry as much, but when people like my sister-in-law, my son-in-law, and all them work, and their work depends on them having gas, I just hope they all get it. But anyway, I'm headed over to Tractor Supply, like I said, to get my feed. Don't think I'm gonna tackle Walmart this morning. I'm just not up to it. And Omi's still at the house. So I need to uh, try to get back and spend a little bit more time with her because we've just been kind of, like I said before, pedal paddling around, doing little bits. Well, my phone is dictating what you hear. <laughs> it is cutting on and off. Eli laughs because usually on our bumpy road at the house it does that, but it's doing it now going up the interstate. Not a whole lot of cars out, to be honest. That, it's surprising. I don't know about statistics. I'm not a political person. Statistician. I'm not. A, now my phone don't want to stay on the dash. Uh, but I know, like with the unemployment rate, they talk about how high it is and stuff. But guess what? Just all over our little town and the town next to us, I find help wanted signs everywhere. Are y'all like that? You have help wanted signs everywhere. The other day we were actually in the Dollar Tree, Mom and I, and we were talking to a gentleman. Now they're hiring kitchen staff at Shoney's, and they'll even tell you what they need, how many they need, and all this stuff. And I think I just passed up the road I was supposed to go on, so I have to turn around. Um, and we were in the Dollar Tree, and I don't think I caught any any of that on film because we were socializing in the checkout lane. We were. We were talking to the guy that was checking us out. He was real sweet and he was wanting to know where Omi was from and they started talking about Germany and all kinds of different stuff and uh, he asked us, he said, do y'all want a job? He says, we can't, we can't keep people. People don't want to work. I worked hard when I worked. That time the phone cut off, didn't cut back on for me. And I, I've been asked before, would you like to come work for us? And even in my condition where I don't have the energy to do a whole day, they were willing to take me even for four hours a day. But with Kenny and Eli and everything else, I did it again. <laughs> my brain, I'm going to have to quit talking. Because my brain, I am now going through woggles just to get to tractor supply. Does anybody else do this? I am really paying attention. It's just that every road seems like my car wants to go down. But anyway, there's jobs out there if people really want them. It may not be the jobs they want, but if they want to work. Me and Omi could have had a job that day probably. Of course, we'd had been interviewed and stuff, but I have no doubt. Even at 79 and 61 and health issues, we'd had a, we would have had a pro, we would have had a job, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, I'll bring you back after I get out of tractor supply. I need to calm my talking down. The sun feels really good. And, uh, just got a lot going on today and my mind races and by midday I'm exhausted. I, I get exhausted really easy, but while I got the energy, I better get this done, hadn't I? So I'll bring you back. I'm at a tractor supply. I'm on hold with my daughter. She calling back the camping trip too, wanting to know if I got pots and pans. Pots and pans. I said, normally I haven't, but this, but I plan on this season putting pots and pans in it. Uh, so she put me on hold. I may have to come back when I may have to cut it off. Anyway, as you see, tractor supply right here. Got a ton of food. I didn't want my husband to have to come if he didn't have to while I'm gone. So I try to be pretty much prepared. Also got, uh, I'll show you what else I got at tractor supply today. I got me some lemon thyme. You're gonna see some videos coming up where Omi and I are in the garden and my lemon thyme is so sickly. <laughs> You'll see it in one of my gardening shows. I got the heat on. It, it's up to 50. What's 
54, I think, in one place. It's 52 here. Let me turn the fan off. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to get one of these because I want to see if I can grow it better. German Tom. And uh, what else did I get? I got the cutest bags. If you need cute gift bags from the tractor supply, I get them at the tractor supply. For $1.29, I got this one. So what did you bring us? I did. I bought like three of each of the, I bought two different uh, designs and I bought three of each because these are great gift bags right here. They're great gift bags for people that love their animals, love their dogs. And, and uh, also it's good like when you're, I, I just got two of those. When you're traveling, it's good to put even when you take a dog, put all their stuff in one of these and you'll know exactly which bag to grab. Couldn't pass this one up. Kind of reminded me of cinnamon, only it's not quite as red as cinnamon. The chicken bag. And look at that beautiful barnyard print. So, that was the only other purchase I got other than all the feed you see. I love these bags. And they hold up well. You can use them for shopping. You can use them for gift bags. You can use them for... I'll probably... I may take one of them chicken bags on my vacation and use it to put all my toiletries, makeup, all that in, and I'll know which bag that I'm... Uh, that it's in. But like I said, they hold a lot, too. They really do. <sighs> Think about doing something else while I'm sitting here while I'm waiting on her. So I'll bring you back when I get back on the road. Yeah. I'm, still, I'm still on the phone with my daughter, but I just thought I'd show you a view. It's so sunny today. It's up to 60 already. Can you believe that, Michelle? 60 degrees. Yeah, I know. Now, we're talking about our camping trip, aren't we, honey? Yes, we are. Because they're going and my oldest stepson and family's going. Uh, don't know how much I'll be I told my husband I didn't know how much I'd actually participate on a lot of the stuff because I me and Omi's got to get ready for a big trip don't we Michelle mm -hmm. so I'm making time for family but I got to make time to get ready too don't I I can't go without anything yeah but I do have a question for you okay hang on I'm going to cut this off first you may well, you can leave it on oh, I, okay I can leave it on she said I can leave it on okay what's the question when are you supposed to be back from your trip? Uh, when, you know when we're leaving, it'll be at least 10 days. We're going to be gone at least 10 days. So you know when we're leaving, count 10 days out. I'm not going to say it right now. I was just trying to double check to make sure you'd be home in time for middle Friday. We oh, I got, I'm going to be home in plenty of time for you to go to Cherish Hope's photograph studio. Okay. Okay. Hey, is that what it's called? Cherish Hope? Is photography. that she, photography? That's what she's called. It. And yeah. she's in Sweetwater. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I've got a video coming out where we went to Sweetwater uh, a while back, and I, and I don't know if I talked about Cherish on the uh, video or not. But yeah, Michelle's got an appointment for that, what, June 4th? Yes. We and she asked her mommy to go. So mommy's going. She said, "Mommy, please don't video." And I said, "I had planned on videoing that, but who knows what I might do? Might I won't video you? Yeah. I won't video no. you in your session. No, I no. won't. Do it. But I might talk to Cherish and see if she'll tell people about her studio. Yeah. If she's got time. If she knows, that's fine too. Right. I'll just enjoy talking to her. Right. I'm going to get off here, people, so I can talk to my daughter. I'll catch up with you later. Are you wore out yet? Because I'm wore out. I just got done talking to Michelle, and then I had to go into Advanced Auto and get my brother's UPS packages. He had two. I explained on the video, I think. You'll see a video where I explain our issues, but I'm wore out. I've been gone from home for two and a half hours my car is full now 
I've talked to my daughter. Got to go home and talk to Omi and yeah, talk to Omi and talk to Eli. I mean, to Klaus and check on my husband. I'm wore out. I am. I still got a lot of this left too, so it'll get me through the day. I think I just went down to here on that. I sip on it during the day because. I actually have my hot coffee with me. Don't know how much more vlogging I'll do today, but I'll try to catch you up maybe a little bit around the house on certain things. We'll see. I'm not going to end it yet. I'm playing it everything by ear like I always do. But we'll talk to you in a little bit. I just thought I'm on my way home from the errands. I just thought to show you how pretty it is driving down our road. This is why we're called Shady Cove. We have a lot of shady places in here. The sun's been bright all morning, but in here, yeah, it's pretty. The sun filters through the trees. Ah. <laughs> I'm almost home. I stopped down here at my little farm and got me some buckets to plant my pepper plants and some tomato plants in. <laughs> Just when I died, I couldn't squeeze any more in. I think I got me about a, a dozen five gallon tubs, mainly from tractor supply in here. They're old tubs, drill holes in them. <sighs> I'm wore out, people. I'm wore out. I'm gonna tell you, as soon as I get home, I got a lot more to do. But I think that's gonna be for another video. I may keep trying to film today. I don't know yet. I'm breathing hard because I've been going back and forth to, I fed my piggy and done all that. So, let's see what else I can get into. I gotta feed a bunch of critters, I know. My day's just beginning.